Hey again, guys. You know what I like to do late at night when I'm all alone? Everybody left me. Been alone for a few days. I think you know what I like to do. I like to look at some baseball cards. Hey, you know, when I was growing up, I always called Johnny Evers, Johnny Evers. And then I was watching other baseball stuff and seeing documentaries and they started calling them Evers. So I always thought I had it wrong. Well, I was watching this old baseball, um, like the history of baseball program from way back in the day. It was hosted by Branch Rickey. And he called him Evers. So I'm going back to calling him Evers. If Branch Rickey called him Evers, I think his name's Evers. And whoever started pronouncing it Evers must be wrong. I just thought I'd throw that tidbit out there because I know some of you gone back and forth with that. I saw somebody who said uh, that he knows everybody calls him Evers, but he believes it's Evers. So we got that going on. I have some great cards to show you. And I know I just showed you a bunch. Uh, <laughs> done a few, a few videos. Hey, Scott, I'm giving you a run for your money with the number of videos I'm uploading, buddy. All right, I want to start off with this beautiful, perfectly centered 1960. Bart Starr. This, I believe, was the last big star, no pun intended, that I needed for this set. Now, growing up, I used to try to get the sets, right? And nowadays, it's more like I just want to have all the big players and the cards I like, um, players I know. Because it's just uh, over, you know, you, you spend all this money to get all these players you may not even know or heard of. Um, you know, they might be, uh, might have played three games in, in Major League Baseball, especially like these high numbers uh, in the 60s. You got to pay all this money to get these guys you don't know. Uh, you know, they, they might have only played a handful of games when you can be buying other good stuff. So kind of got away from trying to complete every set, like... Uh, there were a few that if I was close, I would do that. And then the modern cards, really, they do away with set collecting. I mean, you got refractors, you got parallels, you got rainbows, you got inserts, you got autographs, you got um, patches and uh, different types of patches. One might be white, one might be red and white. So it's just uh, it takes all the fun out of uh, putting a set together because you couldn't possibly complete a set. Um, so, you know, base sets aren't that much fun. But anyway, got that beauty. And I got this. I have the Babe Ruth, the Jimmy Fox, the Lefty Grove. And uh, who else do I have? I have the um, Cy Williams. Uh, but I, I didn't have this one and I wanted it for the set. Looking for a Paul Wayner next, probably. But this is uh, Lou Gehrig. W560, I believe. One of those little strip card sets. Kind of got enamored a little bit with it uh, years ago when I got the Babe Ruth. The Babe Ruth and the Jimmy Fox, they're both jokers. Little playing cards. And I got this great Pocahontas. This is from 1927, Godfrey Phillips. Pocahontas. How many of you have a Pocahontas card? All right, I got this, you know, this thing's... um. Uh, I don't want to say miscut. Well, it might be miscut. Not miscut, but uh, off-center cut. But I, I got it anyway. I love it. Sid Gord Gordon rookie card. And I don't know why. Every once in a while, these little type of quirky cards, the way they're cut or, you know, off-center or something like that. I don't know. They just speak to me. I mean, they're just as nice. You're beautiful. You don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Sid Gordon. Rookie card. And I got this Sada Haru O. And this thing's really, really thick. Um, it's it's in uh, lower grade. 
but I got it for 22 bucks. And it's Sada Haru. Oh, get his cards all day long. Little Minko here. So I believe Minko, ah, uh, there are guys on here that specialize in Japanese cards and, uh, you know, prestige collectibles. I don't, I don't want to miss say anything because I'm not that knowledgeable, but I believe the Menko game was you would uh, kind of throw them on a table and they would flip and you had even or odd or something like that. Um, you would hit them and they have those discs and I think they, they bounce up and flip and stuff. I got these great Jersey, Jersey Walcott, Jersey Joe. These are great cards, 1951 ringside. Just love this set. It's just such a cool set. I just, I don't know, I just love it. I got this one too. And I especially love Jersey Joe because I'm a huge Rocky Marciano fan. And Rocky Marciano, man, he hit him to win the title. One of the most brutal hits in the history of boxing. Went straight down. I got these two 1941 uh, double plays. I had mentioned I had these coming. This is Archie Vaughn. And guys, this is Paul Wehner. And uh, it's at the end of his career with uh, Brooklyn, with the Dodgers. Yeah, if you've never shopped for this card, you don't know how hard it is to find one. And, uh, man, it, uh, all the ones I ever see are just beaters. This is one of the better um, conditioned ones I've ever found. And it was a good price, so I just snagged it as soon as I saw it. Because I've, I've been looking for one for a long time and near impossible. I mean, they're just such beaters, usually. I don't know why that's the case. Maybe nobody wanted him with Brooklyn. You know, once he left Pittsburgh. And if you're not aware, he has the highest lifetime batting average in the history of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Even higher than Hannes Wagner. And I got this beautiful Bobby Orr. Now guys, I don't care if you don't collect hockey. You gotta admit, this is a beautiful card. Kind of reminds me of the 1958... Warren Spawn. Bobby Orr. Was he the greatest defenseman ever? And this guy played for my Pittsburgh Pirates. I got a 1979 Opeachy version of uh, George Doc Medich. I actually did go to uh, medical school. Uh, I showed a card not so long ago. He was thrown out for writing prescriptions or something, <laughs> doing something. But he went through medical school. And I believe there were two times where he revived people in the stands. You know, when you get old, you have these stories in your head. I actually believe I was at a game where he helped somebody. But these stories over time get a little mixed up. And sometimes you think you were somewhere where you weren't. So I'm not sure if I was watching it on TV. I, I believe I was at a game that he helped somebody. I really do. And how about this guy made a lot of news tonight? Is he now guaranteed to never be in the Hall of Fame? At this uh, trading card day? You know, I said, what was it, back in 2020, it played a year. And some dude bought his rookie card for $242,000 spawned a video that I made about it. Uh, these guys, you don't know how they're going to end up. And you're paying so much money, more than guys that are proven and in the Hall of Fame. It's just a ridiculous amount of money to prospect with. And I get it. I mean, I that's a phenomenon I've never really understood. And it's been that way my whole collecting life, is you'll pay more for a young prospect who's never played because he's the hot young thing than you will for a proven veteran. It's just silly to me. I mean, I see I saw people paying more for Johnny Manziel cards than for Tom Brady. He had a long way to go to even come anywhere remotely close to Tom Brady. 
and 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 there may never be another Tom Brady. All right. So we have a 1936 National Chickle, uh, Jim Bottomley, good ball player. And his 1933 Gaudi card is an absolute classic. He's got his hat on sideways or backwards. <laughs> cool action pose there. These are blank. These are Gaudi premiums, I believe. Gaudi premiums. And then I have a 1974 Capital Publishing. This is one of those all-time great sets that's more obscure um, than a lot of the other ones. Harder to find. And man, they're cool looking. Uh, but this is Christy Mathewson. Been working on this set, but it's an enormous set. They're really, really nice cards. And my man, Kevin Blackhurst, I bought some cards from him. I got a stack of like bazookas and stuff over here. I was going to show them. It'll take a while, but um, in the package, he uh, gave me this awesome Ichiro card. I guess, what is that, a box topper for Stadium Club? It's a beauty. What else do I want to talk about? I guess that's it. I'm bored. I got nothing to eat in the house. My wife always... <laughs> my wife spoils me. And she's a, she always uh, does the shopping and makes me stuff. And she hasn't been here all week. And my daughter hasn't been here all week. So, uh... I've just been looking at baseball cards and making probably too many videos and texting with my misfits. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.